after understanding the development of uh, the Bernoulli's equation and its process of conversion into linear form, now we can do it numerically. So let's try to solve it numerically. The Bernoulli's equation method will be applied here on some nonlinear differential equation, which is this in, in specific uh, terms, which is now a numerical set of uh, terms. So it is now more interpretable. So let's uh, write the standard form of it, which is this. And after writing the standard form, we can extract the value by comparing the given equation. So the given equation is written here. R has a value of t and capital T is equal to 3 small t and m is equal to 2. So these values now are written separately. R is equal to t, capital T is equal to 3t and m is equal to 2. Uh, if you remember, there were two substitutions. The first substitution was that we got rid of y raised to the power 1 minus m by assuming it equal to z. So we did here the same thing. The same equation is written. We substituted the value of m here, which is 2. So the z, uh, the value of z is equal to y raised to the power minus 1. So we can uh, use the linearized form of the Bernoulli's equation which is in terms of z in instead of y because now we have the value of z which is equal to the reciprocal of y that is y raised to the power minus 1. This is the linearized form okay and you know we have m and we have r and we have t right. So these are the values that I have already extracted and I can use those values from there. So you can see the value of m is substituted, the value of r is substituted and the value of capital T is substituted. I can s do a little bit of algebra here, simplify and I will get this answer. So this is the linearized form of the given nonlinear equation. The given nonlinear equation was this in which I had uh, y raised to the power minus 2 and in this linearized form I have gotten rid of the non-linear part and now I have z and z has a power of 1. So it is linearized. So once I have a linear differential equation I can solve it by using the uh, other methods that I have already learnt. In this situation um, I have to you know convert these differentials into derivative so I am going to divide dt on both sides. So uh, when dt is divided here it becomes 0. However here it appears in the denominator and that and then is left with dz in the denominator and gets cancelled out for uh, this term and that's why the remaining term is left here. So this division gives us this form which we can rearrange because uh, this is the variable z and its derivative is here and its original value is here whereas this is the term which is uh, not uh, containing the dependent variable that is z. So we shift it to the other side. Now we have that similarity where we have dy over dt plus ut into y is equal to wt. However, instead of y we have z here and instead of uh, ut we have its value that is minus t and the value of wt is uh, minus 3t. So now I have the values of uh, ut and wt. This will enable us to solve this uh, transformed version of the linearized equation that is linearized differential equation. And since the values of the coefficients and constant are uh, in terms of t, so they are variable uh, in terms of nature. So this is the case of first order differential equation with variable coefficient and variable term. So the formula will be used accordingly. You remember that this is the case where the first order differential equation is used and solved with variable coefficient and variable term. So this is this uh, formula and 
we know about this formula from our previous knowledge. Uh, we try to solve u uh, integral separately, you know, this box reveals that, so that there is no clutter in our uh, work, the work is, uh, you know, clean and easy to understand. So, the value of u is substituted here, it was equal to minus t. When we integrated it, we got this answer, but we also got rid of the constant of integration uh, because we want to keep the process simple. So, after uh, got getting rid of this constant of integration, we have the integral of u t that is u with respect to t. And now, we are going to put it in this formula. Uh, this is the value here and this is the value here. So, um, instead of y, we have z here again. So, these are a few changes that we need to bring and that is the substitution in this formula. And now, let us uh, so try to solve this because it is going to be simple algebra and a little bit of uh, integration. In this case, I have to integrate this function which is uh, accepting the uh, situation of, uh, you know, exponential function its derivative, its integral. Uh, what we do is that we find for, uh, you know, the derivative of the exponent, which in this case will be minus t. So, we have rearranged in a way that we have minus t here, because we have shifted this 3 outside and it is also a coefficient. So, the fulfillment is happening here. The function was this and its derivative is minus t. Both of them are existing here, the derivative and the function here. So, the formula can be applied here. This is the formula. So, in, instead of the right hand side, we will write the left hand side, which is the, you know, the formula that we use in the integral of the um, exponential functions and this is the outcome of it. Now, we can rearrange it because uh, this e exponent t square over 2 is getting multiplied with a and with this term. So, when we multiply it with a, it becomes this and when we multiply it with 3 exponent this, it becomes this. So, we have this uh, final form in which uh, 3 is left here and this term is as it is because these two terms, they got cancelled out and now we have the time path in terms of z and t, but we do not want it actually because we started with y. So, I am going to find out the uh, time path in terms of y and t. So, the time path of z in terms of time is not required, we want in terms of z y. So, instead of writing z, I should write y here and you will see that I wrote the y equivalent here. This is the y equivalent of z. So, uh, we wrote this value and then I can write it in this uh, way that is 1 over y and I need the value y. So, I cross multiply and y appears here and then I can create a mirror image of it and write the value of the time path of y in terms of t. And uh, this t basically shows that y is dependent upon time and you can see it here that t determines the overall answer. So, by using the Bernoulli's equation method, we substituted z in place of y to linearize the nonlinear differential equation which was given. And then we used the procedure of solving uh, first order differential equation to find the time path because we had to linearize. However, it was in terms of z. So, we restored y and we got rid of z which finally gave us the time path of y in terms of t. So, we must recall that what was the given uh, numerical? This was the given numerical which is in terms of y. However, we developed the time path in terms of z initially, but this was not something that we needed. We wanted the answer to be in terms of y 
and this is the kind of answer we are looking for. So in this way we can apply the uh, Bernoulli's equation method to any nonlinear differential equation that appears in the standard form of the Bernoulli's equation in which the power of y on the right hand side is m where m is neither equal to 0 nor equal to 1. Thank you.